All right, let's take a look at the microphone demo LAVI project. Here I have the ADMP504 microphone. I'm amplifying the microphone signal and passing that to the analog input zero on connector B. Here I'm looking at the signal coming out of the microphone. At the moment, I'm looking at the audio input left channel. You can select any of the available analog inputs here, but I need to point out that you have to restart the VI because that selection happens before the timed loop begins. All right, now I'm looking at the analog input zero on the B connector. This has a range of zero to five volts. I'll change the range accordingly. Make a little bit of noise on the microphone. You won't hear the actual sound, but you can see it registering on the waveform there. And this is based on the timed loop. This timed loop gives us a precise way of sampling the microphone. Right now I'm doing so at 10 kilohertz. This is based on the Reed VI. This is a low-level sub-VI in the MyRio sub-palette. I pull off the individual sample and then connect that up to my waveform chart. The air cluster is ORed with the stop button right here. And if either of those become true, you break out of the timed loop, pass through the simple air handler, and then execute a software reset for the MyRio. And point out a couple things about the graph here. Once you've collected a waveform you like, you can export that in a number of different formats. Also, let me point out that you can adjust the amount of data that it's saved in the chart history. You can do that with the chart history length here. Let's just run this real quick. Here I'm making some noise. I stop the VI on, at a point of interest, and then I can use the graph tools to zoom in on some feature of interest. Just zoom in a couple of times there. All right, that gives you a little better sense of what can be accomplished for the microphone.